guys and welcome back to my channel for part number I think we are on 18 of let's play the sims 4 so mrs. and mr. Um, I guess you could kind of call him Barnes uh, got married and they were supposed to share a piece of the cake because that's just kind of what happens you know and they, they grab a slice they typically share it but I think just because of the, the situation at hand here that didn't happen but it's a really cute feature and it kind of sucks that I was wasn't able to show you guys but we are picking up um exactly where we left off finishing up the wedding um <clears throat> some of you thought that you know the reason why her relationship on a more logical level isn't as as progressed as his for hers uh is because of the fact that i'm always having him do the interactions um we'll give it a go we'll see if it does help i'm pretty sure i think it would as it is um, but, you know, I mean, I like to think of it maybe not as that. I may like to think of it as maybe she really just doesn't care for him in, in the same way that he cares for her. But, you know, uh, someone nailed it on the head. They were like, you know, it's just kind of like a time of the essence sort of thing. You know, she feels like she isn't getting younger, you know, got to move on, got to get married. I mean, gosh, she's going to be a freaking adult in about five damn days. What I would like to do is put the aging on, um... Uh, long I think because I feel like it is way too soon to rush into things I'm not about rushing into things and whenever I feel like they need to age up I will do that you know I'll fix it again so we're gonna go on just for temporary uh, temporarily put it on long um because I feel like her aging up in five days is just not that logical to me I mean her aging up in 20 parts maybe I, I would think 10 more parts at least so I wish there was like an in-between kind of situation but there's not um so let's go and see if we can uh, go ahead and um, we're going to brighten our, our husband's day. We're also going to go ahead and be romantic and be enticing. Ooh. Obviously, some woohoo is going to happen. Uh, this guy is totally busting out a freaking uh, good set of reps here. He's, I don't know what he's doing. He's being all sorts of sassy. She's sitting down and he's kind of flirting at her and she's flirting with him. And wow, sexy little lady. Um, someone was like, dude, you need to have babies. And I'm like, ah, babies already. Like, so soon. I don't know if I want to do babies yet. Thinking about it, but not sure about it. Anyway, um, I think Christopher went to work. Because I was just about to have him totally hit up Dawn for a little bit. I totally thought <laughs> this was a sim unrendered. I thought that was kind of funny. So there's a few things I would like to do um, once we get back home. I, I want to get a post, hold on, I have notes here, postcard thingy for um, the postcards that we're going to get when Chris, you know, does the whole deal. And then also um, explore breeding some frogs. And, and I can actually size up the curtains. Did not know that. So uh, Summer gave him a little besito, and he is loving it. I'm going to have Mr. Aaron go ahead and use the toilet. <clears throat> he wants to level up in his Christmas gown. He actually wants to get to know his brother on a different level. I think that, you know, their rivalry isn't behind them. But I do think that, you know, at the end of the day, they are brothers. So uh, I don't think any of them can make a roasting chicken. I don't think we know how to do that. So, and Chris left. So all chances of us actually making something halfway decent are kind of out the window. Although, you know, summer isn't that bad. She really isn't. So the party's going to be ending in about like two hours. I think summer actually has to go to work too. <clears throat> so, I mean, let's just go ahead and kind of end it now. She's going to go to work. Yep. Totally going to leave Mr. Aaron all by his lonesome, but we need the Fetty as we need the cash. So, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense, right? Um, let's just kind of hang out then for a few more minutes. I mean, we guess we could end it, but um, we're going to go ahead and take the rest of our cake and put it in our inventory. <laughs> we're going to take that crap home. I think we will probably end the party. It's, 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 it's been fun. The main event kind of happened, right? So, um, yeah, cool. I think that's all I really wanted to do here. So let's go ahead and kind of end the party. Um, everyone seems to be having a good time. You didn't want to end the social event so soon, did you? Yes, actually, I did. So we get a reward. We get um, a, a few appliances and some decorative items. By the way, did not know if you hit <gasps> buy mode while you're on the lot, you can actually ed 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 edit the lot. Like, so many different things I'm not even remotely 
close to discovering yet or really remembering yet. So when you guys get mad at me like, oh, you can size up objects or hey, you know you can do this or hey, you can do that. Like I, I forget. So this guy here, gosh, he is so handsome. He kind of reminds me of, um, I think Latrell from White Chicks, like the guy that does that like the whistle dance oh my god love that movie I, who the hell doesn't love white chicks like i swear when i was a teen we had the best movies we had mean girls we had white chicks we had um i think scary movie the jackass uh series oh so do we have that was really good um austin powers that was when i was like really early teens um just so many good things so many good movies so here we are, home sweet home. These two should be out. Okay. We got to go ahead and fix this sink. I really wanted Chris to do it because he needs his handiness skill. Um, we're going to scavenge for parts really quick. And I'm trying to figure this out. So, I mean, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, actually, no. Chris does need the handiness skill. Yeah. So we're going to have to, unfortunately, just leave it here. I know someone's like, fix the damn sink. <gasps> Hold your horses. Okay. Fido, we're going to fix it. Just... You know, I got, I got my, uh, I got my plans first. So let's try out this theory. And you know it's going to work, right? Because I'm calling you out on it. Yep, totally. Can have curtains in here, yo. Totally can have curtains in here. Jeez. Oh, this whole entire time I've been freaking out over what? Actually, these curtains even match. Where were these when I was looking originally? Um, these aren't really, like, girly curtains, but, I mean, they kind of juice up the place a little bit, right? Maybe not so many of them. All right, so what I'm going to do, because I've decided here, I'm going to actually put in a couple, should we do blue or red? Um, I like red. I think the red curtain is kind of, this place is so almost contemporary. It's kind of funny. Um, it's very odd looking, but it works. It really does. So right now we've got our man here scavenging for parts, which really should be his brother's job, but I mean, it's whatever. Um, I don't know if we found anything. I just came from The Sims 2, so things are a little crazy. We've got a, a frog here. Um, I'm going to put this cake away. Some more veggies and such. Figured out, by the way, how to get a trash plant. Um, yeah, we'll have to do that. Uh, i got to remember how, though. Okay, so are these stinking? Or what's wrong with them? Oh, they're dead. Oh, no! What the hell? I'm totally sucking a horrible at this whole. Oh no. I'm killing all my plants. Oh god. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Oh, I, that's right. We don't have to dispose on every single one. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and have him kind of clean up these plants real fast. Um, it's kind of a good thing, actually. I'm going to have him leave this one here. And you'll see why. Uh, I wonder if I can actually move this pile of garbage okay so we're gonna go ahead and just leave that guy there for a few days right and again you'll see why if you didn't hear what i just said a little bit earlier should have been paying attention Boom. ah no okay last one i last one last one fine well, well the very last one that he tosses um that one will be the one that will be our our garbage pile okay so let's go ahead and dispose oh poor aaron his poor plants are all dead I wonder if we could just temporarily move this recycle over there. So then that way, life would be a little bit more easier for all of us, especially this guy. Um, I'm going to have Summer kind of work hard, too. I, I think that her and Chris should make some extra cash here. So, all right, let me see. We got this guy here. Then this one. That one's going to be our... Um, our our experiment okay so let's just use this one here okay drop it good puppy good okay so let me go ahead and kind of reorganize all this jazz because it got messed up move this tree over here maybe and then this one over here um move this one down Actually, I just can kind of move these these way. It doesn't really matter, but I'm trying to make it a little more organized. And then this guy can get moved right there. Okay. So, next, let's just go ahead and harvest all 
and a weed and water. Okay, I'm gonna actually go ahead and put this back too so that we don't have to keep running all over the place for the damn situation. Oh my gosh, do you see the light kind of... Oh, I totally thought that was the light coming out the window, but it's actually the light coming from the street. Anyways, let's just go ahead and kind of zoom on through here. Okay. Got all this mess out of the way. I feel like it's kind of like ho-hum right now. Very, very chill. Not a lot to do. Not a lot going on. But that's okay. We need this because, you know, we always are being crazy. And look, seriously, we just freaking missed it. This plant died. Anyways, looks like Chris and both Summer are home. He's going to go ahead and complain about his problems to poor Summer. Like, she really gives a rat's patoot. A rat's patoot. Um, we need to get him a, uh, nobody got promotions, by the way, but we do need to give him, oh god, she doesn't care. She's like, I don't, I have my own problems. Maybe that's a good thing. You know, maybe she, I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Alright, so let's go have her go to the bathroom. Go have her go to the bathroom. Okay. Um, Chris, he needs to go sleep because he's actually going to fall asleep. We got to have him fix this in the morning or whenever he gets a little bit of energy. She, after this, is going to go ahead and sleep as well. Very, very, very exhausted, super sleepy, and tired. Um, he is over here whistling up a storm, gardening in his tuxedo, because he's a real boss like that. Yep, it's very true. I wonder if I could take this garbage and just kind of put it in my pocket for a minute. <laughs> can I do that? Is that a thing? I so can't. Uh, no, I just don't want him to touch it or, you know. Actually, he probably could just do the other one. I don't know. Let's just try not to kill any of the plants, you know? All right, so we're going to kind of zoom through here real quick. I'll let him pick it up. Or, actually, no. We're going to drop it. Um, I think all the... We need to water these plants, too, now. Oh, my goodness. So much crap that we have to do. Like, I mean, really. Okay. Let's just go and fast forward through that. He is so tired. He can't even handle it, guys. He is so not down. Okay. I think we are just about done kind of sprucing up these plants a little bit. We had a nice little fat garden, and Jennifer went and slaughtered the whole damn loot. Like, seriously, sounds about right, right? Yeah. Um, hopefully, we can kind of fix things up a little bit. And look, seriously, another one. What the hell? Like, this is bull crap. Okay, well, whatever. We're just going to let that one kind of die. It's, it is what it is. We are definitely going to have to focus on a little bit more later on. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep and... Whenever somebody wakes up, we will pick up from there. Alrighty, so Miss Summer here is actually the first one up. She's going to go run into the shower. Uh, but before we have her do that, we're going to have her actually clean up the toilet <coughs> really quick because it's pretty gross. I know, dude. It sucks, but it needs to be done. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Um, gosh, she's really scrubbing the crap out of that. Okay, let's just take a shower too. All right. I don't know if she has work today. Let's check. She does. She works in eight hours, so she has quite a while. Um, we're going to go and have her serve some breakfast for the boys. We are going to go ahead and make some delicious, I believe we picked scrambled eggs. Christopher is up early in the manana, so we're going to have him go over here and repair the sink. Um, and then let's just check up his, okay, so his handiness is about 6% right now. So we've actually got to get this maxed out, which is going to take a while. Don't get it twisted. It's going to take a minute, but hopefully it will be all worth it in the end here. So let's just go ahead and have him kind of speed on through. All right, so he did that. I don't know if it actually helped him. It did a little bit. So we can actually even upgrade um, into a sturdier faucet, which is perfect. But first, I want him to kind of scavenge through these parts here and see what kind of rubbish he can find. Now he's going to throw this away. Okay, and Summer's making some food for the boys. So hopefully by that time he'll be done. Oh my gosh, there's Zoe. Is that seriously Zoe? Ugh, we should call her over. Um, I'm sure she'll come over to our house eventually. Actually, let's just have him go to the bathroom. You know, go use the potty. Is he throwing away our garbage plants? No, 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 no. Oh, Don Lothario. How are you, boo-boo? Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, talk to him, too. We're going to invite Mr. Don in. Yep, I knew you were trying to get away with my garbage. I'm not stupid. Uh-uh. I've got plans for this one, okay? Um, Let's go talk to Don. So, yeah, somebody asked me if they were, you know, involved. And no, they are not involved. They are 
uh, hopefully going to be very good friends here. And then, oh my god, that is not how you scramble your eggs. You don't beat them half to death. Jesus crazy lady. Aaron's like, forget this. I'm gonna have some leftovers. No, you are not, rude boy. All right, let's go ahead and call it a meal. Um, anybody's interested in eating, you're welcome. Okay, Dawn, grab, grab a slice. Um, poor Chris got booted to the couch. <laughs> okay, so one thing I wanted to go ahead and snag is a letter board or a postcard board. Or maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab it. I think it would be in paintings and posters. No. Uh, let's try objects by functions. No. Um, activities and skills? I think so. Yeah, so here we go. We here we have it. We have the I think it'd be good right here. I don't know if it'll fit right here. Like we'll be able to do it, but we're gonna put it right here. It is called the uh bunch of bunch pals postcard corkboard. Getting too much too many pen pals, the pen pal pals postcard corkboard. I almost said something else will help you manage that growing stack of thoughtful and scenic mementos now with free thumbtacks. Oh, hell yeah, free thumbtacks? Sure, why not? Like, uh, who the hell doesn't want free thumbtacks? So, I don't know if Aaron's eating his food. Oh, he's gonna go sit with his brother? No, he's gonna let him have a seat. How perfect. Who's this? Nina! Oh my god. So, we woohooed with Nina in the previous part, and we haven't, like, talked to her or anything, so... I, I'm kind of worried she's a little pissed off. To be in all, uh, to be all honest, to be in all, in all honesty, I don't know. Um, but we are not that interested in her. He is like, it's she's a fling, and she's not like. I mean, look at it. Look at the relationship. He ain't about that life. He's just stringing her along like a piece of yarn. Yeah, they fool around. Hee hee hee. Ha ha. Yada yada booda booda bang. It ain't it ain't like it though, you know, like she's not nah. I mean she is apparently talking about Chris's love machine. I don't know what the hell, but anyways, this whole conversation is making Christopher sick. He's gonna go ahead and just pinch off a loaf in the toilet. I bet you ten bucks he's gonna go number two. I bet you, like you care, but like let, let's just see if we're right. Oh, who knows Christopher? I know Christopher, and I think he totally just almost peed on himself, I'm not sure. I don't know where she's going. What are you doing right now? Like, who are you? <gasps> Did it work? Did it work? Did it? Oh, no, it didn't work. Damn. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't touch my garbage. Don't touch my garbage. No. Put it down, Nina. Put it down, Nina. Put it. Damn. Little lady. Uh, do an impression. Okay. Stop. Put down the garbage. Why does everybody want my garbage? You know what? That's it. I am going to try this. I think it'll work, and I'm really freaking determined. Let me just delete it. Like, seriously, what was I doing before? I don't even know. I'm determined to have this work. Okay, so... I don't even care. Like, this is how desperate I will be to get this to work. She, you don't know. You don't know me. You don't know my life. Uh, okay. I think this will work. No, because it's a foundation. Are we on a foundation? Ah, oh, shoot. <sighs> Jennifer, what are you going to do with yourself, boo-boo? Actually... No. This could work. No, that's not going to work. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys what I wanted to show you. Uh, no. Okay, I'm just going to have to guard this damn thing with my life. Okay, I'll just put it over here. So, anyways, if you don't know what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make a garbage plant. Uh, the other, my one of my current household, I left garbage here for like a couple days or a little while and... It created a big car garbage pile, so I was kind of hoping the same thing would happen, but it doesn't seem like it will. I don't know. We'll see. More choices, web. Uh, let's go back to see if we have any pen pals or anything. Socialize. Ask for a postcard from Mr. Riverview. Okay. Don's over here. He's chatting up a storm. He's going to go pick up. Fine. Just pick up the damn garbage and be done with it. It's causing me way too much of a headache. Um, Christopher, what does he need to do to improve his job? He actually needs to reach level four of the programming skill and mod at two games. So, for now, we're going to have him kind of water and take care of his garden. Summer needs to achieve level three of the comedy or guitar skill. So, we definitely should probably have her go ahead and, um, 
go down to one of the places that you can actually do this from, I think. Um, yeah, he's actually telling her he's afraid to commit. And apparently he probably looks and smells like a big big old llama. I was about to say the A word, but <laughs> you know. Uh, are you going to get your postcard, boo-boo? Or what's going on here? I don't know. What in the world? Um, Christopher, baby, uh, you're glitching. Am I glitching or am I pausing? Weird. Okay, that was very odd. So work starts in about an hour. I'm just trying to get one of these postcards for you. Hopefully he got a postcard. I don't see it. What's wrong with him? Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, okay, let's try this again. Socialize. Ask for a postcard. Okay, still awaiting a reply. Alright, so he's actually going to go to work. And once he's done with that, we will be able to um, hopefully see if we got any responses. So let's go play some Blick Block. I'm going to actually have Summer's here chill and up a storm chat and blah, blah, blah. She starts work in like three hours. So we're really going to go and try to run her over to the comedy club for a minute. And we're going to go and see if we can actually get her to um, really quickly raise up this skill. I don't know how much she has to go to get it, but I hope we can achieve it just in time. So I think she'll totally make it in time, actually. So... Uh, let's just go ahead and give this a go. I'm so excited. I hope she gets a promotion because she seriously freaking needs it so bad. Okay. So traveling with yourself, me, myself, and Irene. Sure. We'll do it. And we are sharpening a reaper something, sequencing gnomes. What else are we doing? Boosting bloom? I don't know. I really want them to try for a baby, but... I want to add some drama. Contemplating. God, that would be so messed up. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. They just got married. I don't want to make it horrible yet. You know, I don't want to just rush into some drama. But definitely, it's going to unfold slowly. So let's go over here and tell some damn jokes. You got jokes? I got jokes. Okay. So she wants to also hug someone. And she's really happy that she just got married. I mean... She seems to be enjoying life on the wild side. All right. That one time I was on my first date. Pissed my pants. Yep. Came out of nowhere like a joke out of a jack-in-the-box. True story. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> this is so cute. I love this. I actually think she's a really cute sim, but for some reason I don't think she's that attractive. I don't know. I don't know. Aaron's at home. Let's go have Aaron. Um build okay build his programming skill perfect yes he's gonna be building that um let's just kind of zoom through here get her to max this out maybe have a drink before work comes out people are actually um kind of listening so that's cool all right so we can actually now um perform several new shirt routines at, at the computer microphone respectively so we could do perform routine oh so we need to actually write a routine. And this guy's kind of cute. Who's this? Houston? Ooh. Hello, Houston. Houston, we have woofed off. I'm just kidding. I'm going to actually go talk to Houston. Um, Houston looks like he'd be good for Chris. I don't know what. It's just like I saw him and I was thinking Chris. I don't know. That or freaking Joey. Joey, 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 Joey. Oh, my God. Do, you, do we know Joey? I think we saw Joey in the previous part, didn't we? We had to have. So we're going to let her kind of talk to this guy here. I want to see if Joey. I think him and Chris would be perfect together. So I think we should kind of like get Chris and Joey to meet a little more. I don't know. I think Chris kind of the Nina thing. He might, you know, do something one more time. Call it a day. I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, but yeah, she's actually going to go and go to work now. So I think... We're just going to go ahead and um, switch to control Aaron real fast. We'll go back and zoom on him since uh, Mrs. Summer here is going to go to work. I'm kind of thinking of where I'm going to go with my next big shock factor in the story. Um, got a couple ideas brewing here. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are going to be ready for this. I don't know. I could do the unexpected. I could do the expected. I don't know. I don't know. I guess you're going to have to find out. Holy guacamole, queso, and cheese. We've got 
Bills of 834 simoleons. And dang, look at that dunk, 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 dunk. I don't know, but I like it. I'm just saying. She's got a big old fat cootie. Um, I'm just kidding. Well, actually, no, really, she does, but, you know, just saying. When does he go to work? <laughs> Change the subject. 16 hours. Um, we have no no involvement with these these guys here at all. So I'm actually gonna just kind of clean up a little bit of stuff here. Put away some 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 grub. See what he did achieve on his skill, if anything at all. He uh, does need to work on his programming. He's actually almost there though. So maybe we'll have him go ahead and mod mod some games. Program mod game. Mod Incredible Sports. Yeah, let's just do this. So we can get him to get off the damn computer. Just work on it a little bit. We're going to probably finish. Well, I mean, we won't finish. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to work. What are you doing? Oh, my God. What are you doing? Ugh. Is she here? She's not here. So do we have to go back? Oh, okay. Care for self? What happens if we do that? Dude, she's so freaking late. All right, so we gotta go back. <laughs> Switch to summer next time, Jen. Note to self. Just wait until Chickity actually goes to work, and then it'll automatically switch over. But I thought she would go regardless, but I guess that isn't the case. Okay, so we are back at um, Mr. Aaron here, kind of working on his computer skills. One thing you guys wanted me to do was change back his palo into his old haircut and kind of give him a new makeover. Totally think that would be appropriate. Um, I kind of like, his look was just impressed Summer now that we're obviously married to her and all is well in the Barnes household. We are going to go ahead and kind of change him up to something that fits him. He was just kind of trying to, you know, ruffle up his feathers a little bit and impress the girl okay. by brushing his hair. Do you do? No. Um, him and Chris would look very similar together if they would just like, you know, have different hairstyles or... I think he would look like Chris. I think he could look like Chris. But this is definitely Aaron's hair. It's what makes him. Um, we are going to kind of change up his outfit, too, to be a little more, you know, his his style. He's kind of this guy, I think. This guy. Very much so, I think. I think so. I'm not 100%. All right. Um, I don't know if that really fits him, you know? Like, I feel like maybe something like this. Yeah, that looks good. Oh my god, he has like the world's biggest freaking feet. Holy crap. Big feet, big sex. Um, yeah, sure. I like it. We need to get him a wedding ring though, right? Okay. So let's go into these accessories and put on a ring. I think we're going to do this color here. Um, do same. Okay. Same. Obviously, we don't want any woman to try to swoop up this big, handsome, sexy man beast. Uh, okay, so cool. We've got his hair back in action. We've got that ring gleaming. It's official, obviously. It's been official for quite a while now. He's definitely Summers. And, um, yeah, let me see what else we can get into. I definitely want to go ahead and find if we can a another frog and see if we can mate them. I don't know what happens when you mate them. I don't know. What is taking so long? I don't know if, like, you... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. So let's just go and try to find a quick rana, ranita, somewhere along these rocks here. I think we can do it. All right. There's a whole bunch of stuff to forage for. I don't know if they're really here so much or they are in um, next to like the bogs more. I think frogs would be more like maybe in Willow Creek or something. Or Willow Springs. Whatever the hell the damn place is called. I always get them so freaking confused. Okay. Actually, no. They are down here. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick them up. Let's have him dig for a few things here. Uh, oh, Chris, what? What are you doing? He is feeling so very tense and stretched out. So stretched out. Not yet. <laughs> stressed out. There we go. Stressed out. So I don't know. I'm thinking him and Nina should have like a really rough, crazy, drunk night and it uh, results in a, a whoopsie doodle. Maybe. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool and interesting just to have that, you know? But at the exact same time, I don't know what would happen. I don't know. We'll find out. You know, it's the fun. I love, you know, developing these stories and getting to know these Sims more. And I know some of you really want Chris to figure his crap out. But sometimes life just doesn't hit you like that. Sometimes it takes time. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to realistically and slowly develop both um, 
both brothers. And I'm, I'm noticing you guys are getting more into it. So I love that. I love that a lot. Amethyst. Ah, it's my first stone. It's my favorite stone of all time. Yes, it is. Uh, where's it at? So pretty. So pretty. So I do believe in these capsules sometimes you can find things. Maybe not in the capsules per se, but I found a voodoo doll in my current household. If you guys didn't know, you can check that out. But uh, I sure did. I found a voodoo doll, and I think that would be so fun to use. I think it would be so much fun. Um, I don't know who we would use it on, but I would love to do it. Um, let me see if there's anything else. I mean, we are the only ones home, so let me go and kind of rummage around here, see if there's anything else we can kind of capture. Here's something over here. Uh, there's just more of this crap, but um, there's a well. We can look for some more frogs. And then after we do this, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and see how exactly we made them. Because I know it can be possible. I know it can be done. I just don't know how it's done exactly. So let's just go and finish up these four few things. Uh, he dug a capsule. Yet another. Um... Okay, so we found a bullseye frog, and we, what else did we do? We dug up another capsule. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on home really quick. Going for it. He actually wants to chat with Dawn. Um, so Summer actually brought home, why do we say actually so much, like Jennifer? Get with the program, girl. I don't know what, it's like my favorite word. Oh, look, it's a penguin. Um... Yeah, I don't know why it's my favorite. What's what's going on here? She's gonna have some of her leftover wedding cake. Chris needs. Oh, he's playing with the brother's tablet again. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, Baron doesn't see. It's whatever though. Like, if Baron's still pretty freaking protective over his freaking tablet, he's got bigger problems. Like, come on, you know, Psh, whatever. I'm gonna let him play with it for a little bit. Um, he's feeling really confident right now. Let's go and see how we do the frogs. I kind of want like an activity room for all of this. I don't think we have a lot of money to do an activity room. Um, actually, I could probably do another room off the side here. So let me go ahead and do that. Because we're going to need an extra bedroom anyway, I think, at some point. So adding one in while we have the funds is not a bad idea. Okay, so that means we're actually going to get rid of this window here. So let me just drag it out. I'm going to make it probably the length of this wall. Okay. So I don't know if this looks stupid, but I think it will look okay. I think I have an idea of how we're going to play this out too. So we'll do it like this. Drag this guy and really kind of squeeze him. Oh shoot. <laughs> squeeze him on down. And then pull him in. I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how this is going to look, but I think it'll be okay. I mean, it's not the cutest thing that you ever did see, but it works. I mean, it works. It's a damn roof over your head. Don't be picky, right? Okay, so we didn't even freaking color that side. Uh, I'm going to do pinstripes here. Okay. Loving this house, by the way. It's a really good one. And then there we go. Look, look how beautiful. We got a nice little kind of situation going on here okay so now let's go ahead and drop down how much money do we spend we didn't spend too much on that one um i feel like building is just so much easier in this game while we're at it i feel like um i can do it on camera with you guys or on you know on my on game with you or whatever however you want to say it um yeah, i just feel like a lot of things are just a little more easier so we're gonna do some windows in here uh, I know we got some of these too, so we'll probably put one in like this. I don't know how this would look actually. Um, I'll just put in a couple here. Probably could do this little gizmo like this too, just to kind of. How did this guy have it? Okay, he had it like super cool. I don't think. Wait, how does this work? How did he? Oh, quadruple. Okay, so now actually, I think I'm gonna stick with the the quad on this one. Okay, go ahead and take our super duper fancy curtain and put it like over here. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> You're who am I kidding? It looks horrible, but whatever. We're just gonna go with it, right, guys? And let's go move this over here. Okay, can I move your butt? Thank you. Um, <clears throat> let me just kind of put Chris somewhere else for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna move Chris over here. I'm so sorry. He's like, what the hell are you doing, lady? Um, let me go ahead and I'm going to let you go play with it, but you're going to go play with it over here. Okay. Okay. Go for it. 
So if I can kind of just like move things over a little bit more, that'd be really cool. Um, make this go here. I can actually scale up the TV, which would be a nice change. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, that is way too big. Okay, so I guess that kind of works, right? Uh, this guy is going to go maybe over here. Um, I guess I can just kind of put it right there for now. And then uh, I think I need to get a wall in here. Or a door. So let's go ahead and pick out a door. We're just going to use one of these doors here. Um, let's just put this in here. Sorry, guys. I know this might be boring, but, like, sometimes y'all want to see it, and sometimes y'all don't. So we're just going to go with it. And I'm going to put it right, the door right here. And I think there we go. Let's just go ahead and actually um, get another curtain in here now. Um, so then this way it looks a little more better. So we're kind of getting there. Kind of, sort of. I need some lights some looses and we're gonna plop those in as one I think that would be just about it little blue thing little sexy thing you yeah. and uh, yeah let's just go ahead and put a couple in here I'm just gonna do maybe this guy okay so now that we have this little room gizmo thing whatever um, we should be able to kind of put in some of our findings in here uh, I want to see what happens with the frog so I don't know if they have to be on a table but, okay, so here's this, and here's this guy. So we got two uh, frogs, two ranitas. We've got a dirt frog and a dirt surfer frog. And let's see if we can, oh, we have to breed them in the inventory. Okay. So let me go ahead and breed frog with. Okay. So I don't know if he is the one actually breeds them. So we have actually bred a brand new frog. Um... And that would be what exactly so we've got the dirt surfer dirt surfer so cool and then you can just kind of sell them and create new frogs sweet very cool awesome so cool you can just breed them and make new ones I did not know that um let's go ahead and take out some of these guys I kind of want to start a little collection of our findings here especially those kind of findings uh, so that's all we got really right now we've got the um, Big, 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 big cyanolite, and then we've got the amethyst. I think you can actually enable emotional aurora, and you can get a geo council sample or something like that. Uh, before we end this part here, I do want to go ahead and uh, actually see if we got our postcard. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say. If we did or didn't order, purchase seeds. <laughs> Chris. Mm, uh, I don't know. Can we do it? Riverview? I think we did already, didn't we? I mean, we'll, we'll go ahead and see. Oh, actually, no, wait. I think we got mail. So let's go ahead. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. And when it comes, I want to eat well. Mail. <laughs> That didn't make you well. I don't know what would. Oh, is this a postcard? Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay. Um, yay, Riverview postcard. Sweet deal. So let's go ahead and put them in here. And look at that. Free thumbtacks. So cool. Here is our very first, um, first one. Can't see much, but there it is. So how uh, sweet is that? Okay, so we got some obtainium in here, too. I don't know what we can do with these guys. I don't really know what the point is, but... I guess we could just kind of collect all this stuff and maybe sell it once we got a lot. I don't know. Um, but what I do know is that I think this part is kind of long. I don't know how long exactly. Um, but let me go ahead and open up this capsule. So we got a leaf. Um, we can go ahead and just pop them in here too. Uh, once we need some space for this room, we will um, do something with everybody in here. Come on, dude. Come on, leaf. Okay, there we go. Let's just kind of make them big so we can see them. There we go. Perfect. All righty. He is feeling very tense. He wants to try to calm himself in the mirror. All right, so let's let him have a little nibble. It's actually 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, Let's just do the calming self in the mirror. We got to trim. We got we to gotta trim that bush. That bush is out of control. And uh, we could even box a little bit too if we wanted to. But he's just feeling really stressed out from work and stuff. And 
she's feeling really uncomfortable and just a lot a lot of stuff is a lot of stuff is going on but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of end it here um i think and then in the next part we'll pick up from where we left off a lot of just home stuff roaming around doing some cool new things you know that kind of stuff we explored some some new uh new doodads and, and such that you could do in, in the sims 4 so i'm kind of excited to keep going and keep seeing what you know what is in store by the way i think jennifer you need to fix your roof so looked a little weird to me i don't know how the hell i do this actually oh okay um it would be the sheet roof okay so cool you can have like different Oh my god, you can have like totally different types of roofs. So there we go. Now that that's fixed, house is looking fabulous. And I think this will be perfect for if we have a family. But shh, I don't know if we will. Okay? So what do you think? I've got a couple ideas for you, okay? First idea, cheating, infidelity, summer. Does a little woohoo with, uh, with Christopher, okay? Or... We could do the same situation where they both, where she tries for a baby with both Sims, and then after that takes a pregnancy test, and then we wouldn't know what the baby daddy is. I kind of did something similar in seasons, or in generations. Another idea that I have is Chris can kind of go out for the night, ends up having a one-night stand with Nina, or another, actually just to be the second night stand, get her pregnant, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, and go from there. But I don't want to give you my secrets because, you know, but I kind of want your idea. What do you think? Do you have any other ideas for what we could do for drama? I might not even do any of those, but I just thought I would kind of toss my ideas around for you. But I'm going to go. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye, guys.